Hi everybody, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com and uh, Happy New Year! I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, we had a real quiet New Year. We went to Port O'Connor. Um, that's down on the Texas Gulf Coast. Kind of halfway between like um, Corpus Christi and Houston area. Somewhere in there. Anyway, right on the corner of the Gulf of Mexico and Matagorda Bay. We've got a little place down there. And we spend every other weekend down there at least and then some more time if we can. Anyway, I wanted to show you, uh, it was a very productive sewing weekend for me because there, the weather was horrible. It wasn't until the very last day, which was New Year's Day, that it, it, uh, it was a nice day, New Year's Day. But otherwise, it was cold and dreary and rainy and nasty. And so I said, well, what better time, you know, than to get on the, the sewing machine and do some work. So I uh, had started. Thanksgiving weekend, Thanksgiving weekend, right. There is a, a little town just north of Port O'Connor and it's called Port Lavaca. And Port Lavaca um, has a quilt store called Before It's a Quilt. And I just love that store and I love Jean, the lady who uh, owns it. And um, she had a quilt, she, you know, she'll kit them up a little bit. She had this quilt, it's a, uh, Right here, let me get it, hold it up for you guys. Here it is, can you see that? Isn't that pretty? It's happy, kind of earthy tones and uh, with a little bit of teal in it and I really liked it. And so I went ahead and picked up the kit. I have the uh, backing for it. And the binding, the backing is this. Isn't that pretty? I love this. And this is in the quilt, like right here. Here's a piece of it. And then um, this is the binding. And this matches the first border that's in there. So, and it is a Via Rosa Designs pattern. And it's called Double Delight. And this is what the pattern looks like. If you guys are thinking about becoming quilters and you're kind of afraid of the whole piecing thing, I highly recommend every quilt store you can find has these or you can find them online. And it's a card, you know, it'll have a picture of the quilt on the front and it doesn't tell you which fabric to buy. It just tells you how much fabric to buy. And it, the back of it has, you know, a, a picture and a couple of, you know, it's a couple of squares. Very few of them have bias uh, cuts, so you're not going to get a lot of stretch that way. And then it'll tell you, you know, you need uh, 14 fat quarters and a binding, five-eighths of a yard, something to that effect, right? So th these, are, th these are some of the first quilts that I've ever done. I, they're also the most satisfying. Sometimes, don't get me wrong, I can seriously do some piecing, um, and I have... I cannot believe I got getting to know Hugh. What a fool. <laughs> anyway, Nancy Rink designed that one and it's amazing. It's an amazing quilt called Getting to Know Hugh. And it was a block of the month. Did you see? I just went squirrel again. Did you see that? Anyway, I'll get back to getting to know Hugh in a minute. But um, if you're if you're if you're a good quilter and you want to do you just want to quilt something, grab a Via Rosa Designs pattern. And knock it out. You can do it in a couple of hours, you know, or, or an evening or an afternoon or something. And um, it's just, they're, they're just really satisfying. I really enjoy doing these quilts. Um, getting to know Hugh, I chose the white colorway and it was a block of the month. And that is my one 2019 New Year's resolution. I will not sign up for any more block of the months. Love them. Have not finished a one. And I tell you, I bet you I dropped over $400 on that fabric for getting to know Hugh. Just for the fabric and I have to put it together yet. Isn't that insane? Ugh. Not doing that again. Jeez. That doesn't even include the backing. It's crazy. Anyway, let me show you this other one I'm doing. Another easy, simple, easy way to make a quilt for you beginners. Okay? 
Get yourself a panel and coordinating binder uh, borders. Look at this. This is called Hungry uh, Alphabet. Hungry Animal Alphabet. So each alphabet letter has an animal. Like C has a cow and she's having cake. See that? With cats. Well, I have young grandchildren and so. And there's a donkey having, is that donuts with a duck for D? Isn't that great? So get a panel, okay? This, this panel goes, this red piece is part of the panel and this alphabet piece is not. Okay, so the panel stopped here on this red. I bought this border and I bought this coordinating fabric for a border, okay? Sorry, my dog just thumped the thing. And you just have to put borders around a panel. And look how cute that is. Now, I wanted the same uh, light colored. I wanted this for the backing. This uh, piece right here. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hold still, Becky, so the camera can focus. I wanted this piece right here for the backing. And she didn't have enough of it. I also bought this down in Port Lavaca at B4. It's a quilt. That's B-E-E-F-O-R-E. -E -E. It's a quilt.com. But what I did was I went looking for, I'm stepping out, sorry. I went looking for coordinating fabric online. I couldn't find it anywhere. It had, um, it was out, it was out all over the place. I bet you I bought this, um, I bought this Mother's Day weekend. I know because my mom was with me and we had, I, Bless her heart. I drag her all the time to the quilt store with me. I'm like, let's go to Portland, Vaca. We know we're going to the quilt store. Um, what's the closest Walmart? So uh, anyway, uh, I looked for it everywhere and just couldn't find it. And then the other day, I found this quilt wad. It was hanging on um, a quilt stand that's behind my long arm that my husband had made me. And I was like, I wonder if they ever put that fabric out again. And I went out looking online and look what I found. It's not identical, but it is of the same pattern line. It is of the same fabric line. And it's uh, it's jumbled alphabet or hungry. It's, it is still. And I, I don't remember if this is a Robert Kaufman oh, license required. I, it doesn't say what it is. But this is part of the hungry animal alphabet line. And I needed four yards. So found it. Yay. Now I can finish that and get that on the, on the long arm. Also, um, a, I have a quilt butler on my long arm and that's the robot that goes on the long arm because I can't, I can't, I, I can't, I cannot draw. I can't, uh, that's not me. Uh, my mom is left-handed and very, very artsy fartsy. She's very, very talented. My, my, not my stepmom, my bio mom. Very, very talented. I got none of those jeans. None. This is why I make quilts from kits and um, panels. Because I don't have the ability to go, Oh, look, that goes with that and this goes with that. And won't that look gorgeous? No, that is not me. Okay. I'm like, Ooh, isn't that pretty? I'll buy the whole thing. That's what I do. But it, it's fine. I mean, I've learned to, you know, live with it. Thank God for you creative people. <laughs> Y'all have just, you've changed my world. I love it. Um, so the quilt butler that I have, I'll show it to you. Let me roll it over here. Let me get this out of the way. Well, I can't throw it on the table, Goofy. Because the machine won't roll. I'll bring it over here. Ta-da! Here she is. Well, he, this is Elvis, the king quilter. Um, anyway, so it's a, uh, if you get down to it, oh, you can see there's Kenny Chesney <laughs> because I was playing, um, uh, I, I downloaded Spotify on there and I Bluetooth this to a speaker that I have. I'm not in the camera. Bluetooth this to my speaker. And so I get to listen to music while I quilt. But um, this thing is just amazing. And, um, it's going to, as much as I quilt, it's going to pay for itself. I doubt that I will ever, um, 
I doubt that I will ever quilt for other people. Uh, that's, you know, uh, it's fun. I love it. I'm still working at least for another five years. And so maybe after I retire, uh, I might do it for uh, other people. Maybe I'll upgrade by then. I don't know. This thing runs great. And, and in truth, it's a Tin Lizzie. And I, yeah, yeah, I know they just went out of business and all that. Great machines. Um, and uh, somebody told me the guy who owned it or whoever was owning it went to go work for Quilt Butler. Oh, see, I squirreled again. What I was going to tell you was inside here, one of the patterns that came with here is an ABC123 pantograph. So I'm going to do that on the Hungry Animal Alphabet quilt. I think that'll be so cute. See, now I can do that. That, that I can do. Oh, look, alphabet pantograph goes with an alphabet quilt. That. <laughs> That's so weird. Anyway, I'm weird. But, uh, so, uh, those are two things I'm going to do this weekend. I have, uh, like, I, I am in a class starting on Monday, and so I don't know if I'll be able to make any, um, oh, let me tell you real quick. I, I probably won't make any videos while I'm in the class. I might after class is out. I don't know. I gotta tell you guys, I bought new sewing furniture. I bought modular units from Ikea um, online. They're opening a store here in San Antonio. You could not pay me to go to the store when it opens on February 13th. That is not going to happen. <laughs> but I went online and I ordered um, uh, a corner unit for back over here and a table that comes out. And uh, I'm, the, the idea is to, and I'll show you if I can, I'll turn this a little bit so you can see. See where my body See where uh, Betsy is back there, Betsy McCall? Um, I'm dating myself, those of you who know what that is. Um, so I'm gonna have a corner unit back here and a table that runs along this wall to the door where that mess of fabric is and all that. And then along the wall behind me are gonna be more tables that go to the other door. This is an enclosed back patio. The idea is, is to put all of my machines so I can just roll my chair from one to the other and I can create a workflow of sewing, serging, cover stitching, embroidery machine, quilting machine, and just have them all laid out so that, um, and by quilting machine, I mean the Brother 1500 um, SL, which is the equivalent of the Baby Lock Jane. So, uh, and then this one, this big frame right here is going to go over here. I'm getting rid of a sewing table. If anybody here local sees this and you want it, it is this one right there. That big sewing table right there. It has an L off the end uh, for where the serger is. And uh, come get it. It's yours. Not until my, fit, my furniture is uh, um, February 4th. It gets here. I'm in another class that week and I needed it delivered when I was going to be here when the class is going on online. So anyway, that's uh, kind of what's going on right now. It's going to be a busy, busy winter for me to get all these quilts done. And oh, I started that flag quilt, the cathedral window one. Y'all, that is the weirdest. You sew, you take a 10 inch square, sew the ends together. You fold it in half, sew the ends together, and then you sew all the way down this, pin it in the middle, and sew, and sew, and leave a hole, and then you flip it so it looks something like this, and then you have to take and fold it in. Reminds me of, remember when we were little girls, we used to do those fortune teller paper things? We'd do that. That's exactly what this reminds me of. Um, I've never sewn anything like it in my life, so we're going to see how this turns out, but... Uh, very interesting. So, also, somebody had asked me about the type of stabilizer, water soluble stabilizer, I'm using for the uh, Angel. Still not done with the Angel. Um, just did another skirt piece yesterday. I ran out of stabilizer. What I am using is the um, Pelon 541 Wash and Gone. This stuff's great, it's way less expensive then Valine, and it is the identical product, pretty much. Um, got it at Walmart. It is 15 inches wide by three yards. 
five dollars and forty one cents. Isn't that great? So you can get a whole bolt of it for like ten bucks, but um, not there. I, I found it online for that that price. But I needed this will finish me up with the angel, and now I got to put it together. And uh, congratulations to those of you that said that you made the angel. Um, I'd love to see pictures. My email is on my blog. Uh, I don't have an about page. That's where my email address is. My about page is titled The Creative Fraud. That is me <laughs> so, because I'm not creative. But um, anyway, so I hope you guys um, have a great weekend coming up and um, I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.